Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you a brand new episode in my 15 minute build series. And in this episode, we are going to be building this schoolhouse that you see right here. Come inside, we've got little desks and chairs, nice big desk for the teacher, some lighting and things like that. And then on the outside, there's a bell tower and a nice roof. So pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and get right to building. I'm going to put 15 minutes on the clock, starting right now. So let's see. First, we'll line this up, and we're going to go brick, and it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 this way. And then over here, we're going to go 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Leave a space for the door, and then we're going to go 6 again, just like that. And then we'll just bring it around and connect it like this. And these are all with plain old bricks, nothing fancy. Now, we're going to leave room for the windows, just like this. Right here, we'll put windows. And we're just going to match it on this side, except over here, we will fill this in with bricks. There's not going to be anything there. Oh. And once again, leaving space for the windows. Then we're just going to bring that up. Like you see here. And then we'll bring it up one more. But this time, we're going to bring it all the way around the perimeter. Just like that. There we go. And then finally, there will be one more layer on top. Just like this. Because that is where the roof line is going to go. There we go. All right, now, down here, we're going to knock that out, and we'll put one polished diorite block right there, and then we don't need it anymore. Um, go away. There we go. We will take out the floor, and we're going to replace this with spruce, because I think the spruce planks give us a nice contrast between the brick and the floor, I think spruce is kind of one of those woods that really, really kind of looks good with everything. So that is a good thing. I think I'm going to go and set the time to morning. Now it's probably going to start raining on us because that's my luck, but we'll find out. All right, so there is our floor. Now let's take some window panes and fill these windows in. Oh, oh, mistakes. Mistakes have been made. Okay, there we go, we got it. This is just gonna be a blank wall. If you guys have a solution for what we could put there, just let me know, put a comment down below. And always, as always, guys, if you modify these builds, feel free to take a picture or a screenshot and send it to me on Twitter. I love seeing that kind of stuff. Now, for the roof, we're going to take dark oak, and we're going to bring it out like this. And then we'll do the same thing on this second layer. And on the back side as well. Just like you see here with these dark oak stairs. And then we'll bring this out one. Now here we're going to lay out the rest of the roof shape. Just like this. And then we'll just come down here and do the roof like so. Just bringing it across, still using these dark oak stairs. That's what we're using for almost the entirety of the roof. The only exception is I believe there's one row of dark oak slabs that gets put up there towards the very end. 
and I suppose we should probably fill this in as well. There we go. So there's one side completed. And we'll bring that around. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. I find it easier to build the roof this way. There is, as you can see over there, a nice big tower that's go going to uh, go in the middle. But I think it's easier to just build the, the roof this way and then knock out the blocks that you need for the tower. That's just my preferred way of doing this. And now we need some dark oak slabs, which we will put right here. And we'll just bring that all the way across the top. And then we'll put two there. And two here. Now we're going to take upside down dark oak stairs and use them to fill in these spots right here just so it doesn't look quite as uh, blocky, shall we say. It'll be a more gradual slope. And we're going to do the same thing on this side, like so. Now, we want to find the center, which is right here. And we're going to knock out five and five. So it'll be a five by five square, just like you see here. We're also going to go ahead and put in the floor. We're going to do that right in here and we'll take uh, actually let's just put this door on so I can get the door out of my inventory don't need that anymore okay so let's grab some spruce slabs and those are gonna go right here in the top of the block they'll go in the top that's very important because we're gonna use this slab mechanic for the lights in a moment here and we'll just fill in this whole thing and then we're going to center ourselves door there and we'll knock out that one that should be centered and it is so we'll go one two then we're gonna count two spaces and lock knock out another leave a gap of two once again and knock out another like that we will take some prismarine sea lanterns because I think they look the most like school lights at least of the blocks that are actually available in Minecraft and we'll put those in there and then right along here we're gonna knock out three and that will be where the final windows go right there now there's actually no attic access in this particular design feel free to incorporate that if you so choose the attic is more for decorative purposes than anything else now we're going to take some bricks and we're going to kind of map out a five by five square right here just like this then we'll bring it up three high or three more I should say and we will put these in place just like so now we're also going to need some brick slabs there they are actually I'm still gonna need that those prismarine lanterns let's get rid of the spruce let's get rid of the spruce we don't need that and what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna make a real simple pattern like this and right here is where the floor is gonna go and it's just an easy way the easy way to find that is to make the pattern and it so you'll have brick and then you'll have an actual rail here these kind of rail patterns are what we're that's that's just kind of forming the groundwork for this okay so once that's done bring it up two more 
and then bring it over just like this there we go and then we are going to lay out where the roof on this little tower is going to go and for that once again we are going to use these dark oak stairs just like we did down below I think that definitely makes the most sense and we'll fill these in and then the slabs across and we're gonna do the same thing on this roof that we did on the main roof which is inverted dark oak stairs and a couple slabs up there just to give it this slightly more gradual and uh, defined slope so there's that now we're going to take oh you know what I did actually need spruce slabs again oops what we're gonna do here is we're going to fill this in and we're going to put is that right yeah yeah it is okay no it's not no it's not this actually comes down I believe let's take a look at the other tower real quick can you actually see no no you can't okay so I was correct so we're going to go right here we'll put a prismarine block right there and then we're going to take ourselves some gold and we'll fill this bit in oh and this is our bell that goes in the top of the tower you don't necessarily have to use gold but I think that it looks best and I missed one right there that's much better so that is the bulk of it now we just need to do a little bit of interior decorating and for that we are going to need weighted pressure plates dark oak fences um dark oak stairs maybe some oak stairs and uh, one of those and some paintings and I think that will be a good start now the first thing we're gonna want to do is we're going to want to make the teachers desk so we'll put that right here and that'll give us a little bit of a slope we'll put a flower pot over there and then right here I'm thinking this is where the students desks will all go just like that we will put weighted pressure plates on top so that they look kind of like desks and then we'll put some stairs behind them as chairs there we go and we'll go time set zero and then I think the teacher needs a special chair so we'll give the teacher a a chair made of birch is kind of what I'm thinking and then we want some paintings here something like that should do just kind of fill in that area like the uh, the posters that they're learning from or something I don't know but that completes the build so I'm gonna call it done at 13 minutes and 50 seconds there you have it guys a schoolhouse so guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe and leave me a comment I really do appreciate it and it really really helps up my channel you can also find me on Facebook Twitter and Twitch there are links in the video description below so check that out as well otherwise guys thanks for watching and I'll definitely see you next time